Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Good morning, tea sippers. I hope everyone is doing good today. Happy Wednesday. So I wanted to come on here and do a more in-depth video about the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard situation. If you guys don't know, I've been covering this on my channel for years. I do a lot of news stories, not just on black celebrities, not just hip hop base. I cover a wide gambit. Everything from Harvey Weinstein, you know what I'm saying, to Johnny Depp, Asia Argento, the Me Too movement. So make sure you check my catalog. I just don't do hip hop over here. We talk about it all. So I wanted to do an update because we kind of spoke about this yesterday on the live stream. And like I said, there's so many cases going on. And at this point in time, I am sitting back and I'm sipping tea and I'm just watching everything play out. One thing that I did want to go more in depth with is I've been watching this case play out as I've been watching everything. I have come to the conclusion that this case is even more spiritual than a lot of people understand. And like I always tell you guys, one, there's nothing new under the sun. A lot of people are going through spiritual warfare, especially in these times. We are living in dark times. And I believe this whole battle between Amber Heard and Johnny Depp, this is a spiritual battle even more than it is a legal battle. And by the time I get done with this video, you guys will understand where I'm coming from. Once again, like I always tell you guys, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Okay? So keep that in mind as I go through this whole situation. So yesterday I was telling y'all that for me, I think this should also be a learning lesson for a lot of men. Because a lot of men will get with women when they're younger, and these women will hold them down bear their children, and then as soon as either they start to blow up or get more money, then they want to trade in the baby mother or the first wife for something younger. And so I want to kind of bring y'all back to how Johnny Depp got into this situation with Amber Heard in the first place, because it was definitely preventable, child. So let me introduce you guys to Johnny Depp's ex. Her name is Vanessa Paradis, and she's a French actress. She's a singer. Um, she first really blew up in France as a 14 year old actress, but she's more or less known for her singing. So Johnny Depp met her way back in 1998. And what happened is that basically he says that he fell in love with Vanessa at first sight. Have you ever seen someone across the room and had that feeling of true love at first sight? Yeah. Yeah, we've been together about 11 years and we have two children. I saw a back from about 30 yards away. I saw a back and a neck and um, and it turned around suddenly and looked at me, and I was uh, stupefied. They were filming a movie called Ninth Gate with Roman Polanski um, in the iconic city of romance. He recounted this back in 2011. He said that he had went to an outing at a hotel in Paris with Roman Polanski. We all know about him, child. And Vanessa was there, and she was wearing a beautiful dress. Her back was out, and they looked at each other, and he said it was instantly love at first sight. And Johnny Depp has been with, you know, a lot of women. You know, he's married to Winona Ryder. Um, he also dated Kate Moss. So, I mean, he's had his pick of a lot of women. But for some reason, Vanessa was able to basically smitten him enough where he stayed with her for 14 years and she bore him two children. So back in the day, you would see her at all the red carpets. She'd be at all the Golden Globes Awards, the, you know, Oscars and things like that with him. On May 27, 1999, the couple were parents. They had a daughter named Lily Rose Depp. And then April 9th of 2002, they had a little boy. And his name was John Christopher, a.k.a. Jack Depp. So she had him a boy and a girl. And so, you know, he... They provided a foundation for each other. They took care of their kids. She did not really like to be in the spotlight, so she wasn't too much into the Hollywood thing. 
She kind of more or less kept to herself, and they just raised their children together. They lived a nice, lavish lifestyle. A lot of times he lived overseas in France because that's where all her family was. So then he ended up being casted as a legendary Jack Sparrow in Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. Savvy. And that's when he really blew up. Because for a while, you know, Johnny Depp was kind of a washed up actor. People forget about that. He wasn't really getting roles like that. He was getting small bits and parts. But Pirates of the Caribbean really put him on the map. And his star power grew. Okay? He had dolls after him. I mean, toys, all types of things. So you couldn't go anywhere in like the mid-2000s without seeing something Johnny Depp something Pirates of the Caribbean and things like that. So from there, he was able to get more jobs. He had more money. He had two places in France. They had a yacht. They had a private island in the Caribbean called Little Hall's Pond K. So he was definitely balling. And then all of a sudden, okay, around 2011, all of a sudden after 13 years together, they begin to lose steam. And the wife is kind of unsure why, because it's like, well, we've been together for so long. What is, you know, why is everything starting to end now? But she said she started feeling a distance. Johnny also said he started feeling very distant towards her as well. And when asked, why didn't he marry her? Because, you know, she, he was with her for 14 years, damn near, and they had two children. And this is what he stated. He says, I never found myself needing a piece of paper. Marriage is really from soul to soul, heart to heart. You don't need to say, okay, you're married. So that was his thoughts in 2010. And obviously Vanessa was cool with that because they never walked down the aisle. They never got married. So like I said, around 2011, things started changing. He was acting distant. You know, they were not seeing too much of each other. Then they finally announced that they were separating after 14 years together. And this is what was said. I see that the children are happy, healthy, and seem to be on the right path in life. Johnny told the Daily Mail. And then I look at Vanessa, who's incredibly, who's incredibly supportive, loving, and talented in all sorts of ways. She and I have been together for nearly 14 years. I can hardly believe it. It only seems like yesterday that we just met. Then they go on to say, we're amicably going our separate ways. Please respect our privacy and more importantly, the privacy of our children. That's what he has said back in 2011. Now, what was very interesting about their separation, because remember, they were never married. But in June 2012, it was reported that Johnny Depp decided to hand over a massive sum of $150 million to Vanessa. Okay? Now, they were saying that because they weren't married, Vanessa would have had to sue him for that money. And it would have to go to court, you know, civilly. But because Johnny didn't want to battle out in court, he just gave her the sum of $150 million. That is very interesting. That's a lot of money for somebody he was not legally married to. I believe he gave her that money because he did not want his dirty laundry of him cheating on her coming out in court and ruining his reputation for Pirates of the Caribbean, which is, you know, a child-friendly type movie. So... That's the whole situation with him and Vanessa. Now, let's fast forward to how he met Amber Heard. Him and Amber Heard met in 2009. They met on the set of Rum Diaries. Now, Rum Diaries is, is about a journalist named Paul Kemp. He takes a job in Puerto Rico. And basically, um, in that situation, he meets a young woman called Chestnut. And the woman is engaged to another man. But when Kemp meets Amber's character, who is Chestnut, that character is engaged to another man. But once the characters meet each other, they, you know, they fall head over heels for each other. He's smitten by her. And then she ends up leaving her fiance for the, you know, for the character Paul Kemp. Now, that was back in 2009. So that's what was very interesting about this. And that's why I say a lot of things in movies are very spiritual. You know, when you're acting, especially method acting, you can take a lot of these energies home with you. So in that movie, he's creeping with the woman who's engaged and he's falling for her. But in his real life, he's in a whole relationship with a woman. And Amber Heard is also in a relationship, but they were falling for each other on this set. I believe they had been falling for each other and talking ever since 2009, 2010. Now in the court filings, Amber Heard wrote that her and Johnny began dating around the end of 2011 to the start of 2012. That coincides with when Johnny was still with his baby's mother, Vanessa. 
Okay, and I'm going to call her baby mama because if she was black, that's what y'all would call her, an unwed baby mother, okay? So I'm going to keep the same energy. Um, so that shows you that he was playing that woman for Amber Heard because they were not separated at the time. That is the distance that Vanessa was feeling in her relationship with Johnny, which up until that point had been fine until Amber Heard came into the picture, okay? Now, her, now at that time in her personal life, Heard was a full-on lesbian. She had a whole lesbian affair, with a woman named Tasia Van Ree. And at the time, what was very interesting is that Heard was also arrested in 2009 on a charge of physically assaulting her then girlfriend. Okay? She put hands on her. So again, this is already showing a pattern of how Amber gets down and how Amber is manipulative. And when she sees something bigger, she's going to social climb. Because as soon as she was able to get Johnny Depp's attention and get Johnny Depp in her web, she all of a sudden wasn't gay no more. I'm not gay no more. I am delivered. I don't like men no more. So now, in 2014, now this member, the same man said that, oh, I don't believe in marriage. It's all about soul to soul, heart to heart. Now, fast forward, 2014. Okay, he's only been with Amber Heard not even two years. And she spotted wearing this giant engagement ring on her finger. Huge engagement ring. And by 2015, they were married in a private ceremony. And uh, Johnny Depp's daughter, Lily Rose, did not come. She wanted no parts of it. She felt a way about Amber Heard. His children were not feeling Amber, so the daughter did not come to the marriage ceremony. Another thing that's very interesting about their relationship is this. When Johnny Depp met Amber on the set of that movie, Amber Heard was 22 at the time. This is about 13 years ago. Johnny Depp was 45 at that time. Amber Heard was 22. Johnny Depp's daughter, when they got married, would have been 15. Amber Heard would have been 28. Johnny Depp, when he got married to Amber Heard, was 51 at the time. Amber Heard and Johnny Depp's daughter are only 13 years apart. So maybe she definitely felt a way because now Johnny Depp's daughter is 22 and Amber Heard is 35. Johnny Depp's wife is currently 49 years old. But back when Amber Heard and Johnny Depp married, she was 42. So he had a 42-year-old baby mother and he was getting ready to marry this, you know, 28-year-old woman. But the 42-year-old woman who held him down never wanted to marry her at all. But now his new wife is 28 years old. Okay. So basically he traded in a solid woman who had his back, who bore his children for a young new trophy. And that's where Johnny Depp got caught up because from everything I've researched, Amber Heard is nothing but a Jezebel spirit. That She has a Jezebel spirit running all through her. Okay. And Johnny Depp needs to understand that this battle that he's fighting is not just for money. It's not just for his reputation. He is currently fighting a spiritual war with Amber Heard. Okay. One of the things that leads me to believe that she's a, a complete narcissist and a Jezebel is there was testimony that came out during the court with Johnny Depp's sister. Now, Johnny Depp's sister has been managing his career forever. And so let me read to you guys what Johnny Depp's sister had to say about Amber Heard. She says she would describe the former couple's volatile relationship, saying that she was devastated when her younger brother decided to marry the actress. Christy told the jury, noting that her younger brother's standoffish ex-wife would often deride him. When Depp told her that Dior was interested in a campaign with him, she was in disbelief. And sort of disgusted, the sister claimed. Dior, why would Dior want to do business with you? They're about class and you don't have style, Amber Heard allegedly said. Christy, who helped manage her brother's career, said that she would book an extra hotel room when the couple traveled together for Depp in case he and Heard fought. When asked about the reaction to their decision to get, to get married, Christy says, I was scared. I was devastated, actually. Whose idea was it to book an extra room for your brother when he traveled? It was my idea because, you know, um, I saw a repeat happening in life when we were, when we were kids and, and arguments and fighting would start to happen, our first thing was to go and hide and, you know, uh, get away from it. And since I recognized uh, what felt to be 
a, 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 a pattern that was a repeat pattern from his childhood, um, I I wanted to make sure that there was a place that he could do just that. Did you book your brother's hotel accommodations during the 14 years that he when he was with Vanessa Parody? Yes. Did you ever book an extra room when he was with her? Objection leading. No. Overall, I'll allow that one. Go ahead. If you could repeat it, I don't think the jury heard that. I'm sorry. N no, I did not. Did you ever hear your brother and Miss Heard argue? Objection no. calls for hearsay. No. Did you ever see or hear any physical altercation between your brother and Miss Heard? No. What can you tell us about what you did observe of your brother and Miss Heard together? When I saw them, to me, he was always trying to make sure, he was always trying to make her happy. He always made effort to, to sort of make her happy. She has a very strong personality, and my brother's personality came off much more soft at that point to me. Did you observe any occasions in which Miss Heard was nice to your brother? I've seen her be nice in, in you know, uh, you know, offering to, you know, uh, bring him a drink or, you know, get him whatever. I mean, just a typical, like a typical nice. I've seen that. Have you witnessed any occasions on which Ms. Heard wasn't nice to your brother? I, I have. Would I you have. please describe those to the jury? Yeah. This one really stayed with me. On one occasion, we were, I was at the office and I'd had a meeting with Dior who had wanted to uh, sit with Johnny and um, talk about, you know, working together. And Amber had come in and asked if she was interrupting us. And uh, we said no. And we weren't supposed to really talk about the meeting with anyone. But Johnny told Amber that I had just had a meeting with Dior and that, you know, they were interested in him. Um, her, her reaction to that was she was in disbelief and sort of disgust um, because she said, Dior, why, why would Dior want to do business with you? They're about class and they're about style and you don't have style. You know, so it was a, the insulting kind of taking away that one moment, you know, that insult is there. I've seen the insults multiple times actually. So now that's showing you early on in their relationship before they even got married. He was telling her like, hey, look, you know, Dior is looking for me. They want me to do a campaign. And instead of her being a supportive, happy girlfriend at the time, she looked at him in disgust and jealousy. Why? Because she's the young, cute little blonde girl. And she feels like Dior should be knocking on her door. You're just an old fat man who's on Pirates of the Caribbean. You have no style. You have no class. Why would they want to work with you? That's not the response of a supportive, happy girlfriend. Because again, when you're in a relationship with somebody, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, or wife, when they win, you win. You don't show jealousy, anger, and animosity. You know when he get that Dior bag, you're going to get some of that money. He probably going to have you laced in Dior. But for her response to be that way, those were warning signs right there that this bitch was a Jezebel spirit and that she was crazy as hell. She was jealous. She was manipulative negative, low vibrational, but he ignored all of that. Why? Because she was young. She was hot. You know what I'm saying? So let me continue. Then they go on to say, when the sister spoke about the abuse, Depp 58 looked solemn throughout her testimony. The three-time Oscar-nominated actor swirled in his chair and seemed to hold back tears, closing his eyes at certain points and looking down into his lap. So now let me go back to the divorce situation. So in 2016, Amber Heard filed for divorce and she filed on May 23rd of 2016. She also obtained a temporary restraining order against the Oscar nominated actor where she alleged that Depp was physically abusive towards her during their relationship and said it was usually while under the influence of drug or alcohol. She alleged at the time of the filing for divorce, an incident had recently taken place in which Johnny Depp threw a phone at her, leaving her bruised in the face. However, a police spokesman said that an investigation into the domestic incident's radio call 
found that no crime had taken place. Depp denied these accusations through a representative and said Heard was attempting to secure a premature financial resolution by alleging abuse. That was back in 2016. On August 16 of 2016, a $7 million settlement was reached out of court. Heard testified under oath in a deposition, but a settlement was eventually reached after she withdrew her request for the domestic violence restraining order. She also rescinded her spousal support request of 50 grand a month. Depp and Heard also released joint statements saying our relationship was intensely passionate and at times volatile, but we're always bonded by love. Neither party has made false accusations for financial gain. It was continued. It was never my intent of physical or emotional harm. Heard received $7 million from the divorce. But then she claimed that she donated to charity, which I don't believe. Amber had not donated the $7 million she received in the divorce settlement to charity like she said she would back in 2016. She claimed she didn't care about money and money wasn't the reason she was doing this. There was a divorce settlement. You got $7 million. People were saying this is all about the money. But what did you do with that money? $7 million in total was donated. Split it between the ACLU and Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. ACLU is a human I wanted nothing. It wasn't through our gut feelings. Why would you stop the production of said receipts? It wouldn't be hard for me to just show the receipts. It's not that hard. Yeah, this does not look good on Amber Heard in any kind of way. Celebrities are furiously reacting to Amber Heard not donating the $7 million to charity. A number of celebrities have recently reacted to the matter of Amber Heard not donating the $7 million as she has claimed to do so. So he was with this woman, not even married to her for a year. They got married in 2015, divorced in 2016, and she walked away with a $7 million bag. Meanwhile, the chick who held him down for 14 years, she got $150 million. What warranted Amber for getting $7 million in a less than a year marriage? It's insane. Johnny Depp really got screwed in this situation. So the reason why we're here now, why they're in court, how all this even came out. Remember, she signed, you know, a whole affidavit saying that, hey, you know, there was no abuse. You know, it's sometimes volatile. We'll always love each other. I got my money. We're going our separate ways. But because this woman is a Jezebel, she's a narcissist and probably a psychopath too, honey. Um, she needed that attention. Not she couldn't just leave quietly. Because that's what most narcissists and Jezebels do. They don't want to leave quietly. They want to ruin your reputation. They want to make you look bad to your friends and to your family. So what she did is after she got the money, after all this was supposed to be water under a bridge, in 2018, she decided to write an op-ed for the Washington Post where she said that she was abused. So once again, looking for attention, and looking for sympathy and trying to bring her ex down, even though she already got what she wanted, which was the money. So in her op-ed, she says, I became a public figure representing domestic abuse, and I felt the full force of the culture's wrath for women who speak out. So after she made that op-ed in the Washington Post, everything went viral, and Johnny Depp was seen as a monster in Hollywood, and this man lost everything everything okay he was fired from the pirates of the caribbeans he had other shows coming down the pipeline other movies he lost them all so at that point in 2019 a year after the op-ed came out is when johnny depp decided to sue amber heard for 50 million dollars for the defamation piece that she wrote with the washington post in that post she had admitted that she had scars on her arms and feet in an incident where Depp allegedly threw her against a ping pong table and dragged her through broken glass. I mean, she put it all out there. So like I said, a lot of people turned on Johnny Depp. And then in 2020, the phone recordings were released because Johnny Depp had some, you know, receipts of his own. And in that phone recording, you hear Amber Heard admitting to hitting Johnny Depp. And I did a whole breakdown on that. You guys can go back and watch that. And you hear her saying, you know, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit you across the face um, in, a, in a proper slap. I was hitting you. I was not punching you. You know, so basically admitting that she also engaged in abuse. I did not punch you. I did not deck you. That is Amber yelling at Johnny, the verbal altercation after a physical one between the two. I didn't punch you, by the way. You, I'm sorry that I didn't 
uh, uh, hit you across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you. You're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. How are you? How, what am I supposed to do? Do this? I, I'm not sitting here about it, am I? You are. That's the difference between me and you. You're a baby. The audio of the undated brawl played in court after he revealed new claims from another incident where his finger was famously severed. I was looking directly at my bones sticking out. For the first time, Johnny on the record, alleging his wife threw not one, but two bottles of vodka at him after an argument in 2015. She threw the large bottle and it made contact and shattered uh, everywhere. And then I looked down and realized that the, the, the tip of my finger had been Severed. And while Amber has previously denied Johnny's allegations, he insisted it happened in Australia one month after their wedding. I knew in my heart, this is, this is not life. And Depp claimed Amber left a rather disgusting present for him after they argued around the time of her 30th birthday. My side of the bed was human fecal matter and she just tried to blame it on the dogs. Sorry, I could not agree with her. I'd lived with those dogs. I picked up their fun. It was not the dogs. Johnny took the stand for a second day and immediately took on his ex-wife. She's a need for conflict. She's a need for violence. It erupts out of nowhere. And Miss Heard could uh, very easily drink two bottles of wine per night. Well, not a, not a problem. He testified Amber targeted him physically. Throwing a TV remote at my head. And verbally. Tell me what a bad father I was and that I had no idea how to parent. It's to slice you up, it's to bring you down, it's to demean you. He testified that Amber's actions made him more likely to use drugs, like he had begun to do when he was 11 amid abuse from his mom. You start to slowly realize that you are in a relationship with your mother in a sense. And he made these stunning claims. Ms. Hurd had spoken of suicide on a couple of occasions. Many times when I would try to leave, she would stop me at the elevator with the security guards crying, screaming, you know, I can't live without you. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna die. So why did you stay with Ms. Hurd given this type of behavior? I suppose because my father stayed. And we're joined once But yet and still she's playing victim to the public. But the craziest thing is that none of this even had to come out because she was paid and signed a whole affidavit saying that, you know, it's all water under a bridge. So again, he is fighting a spiritual battle with that Jezebel spirit that is in Amber Heard. So now I'm going to go ahead and play you guys some clips. I want you guys to watch these videos, these news clips, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. The 30 year old actress filed for divorce on Monday. An added blow to a devastating week for Johnny after his mom dies just three days before she files for divorce. But Amber shows no remorse, demanding she receives spousal support from her movie star ex. With Pirates alone rumored to have netted Johnny $95 million. All money that Amber will now likely be entitled to. Amber is asking for spousal support, but Johnny's legal team has already responded by asking a judge to reject this claim. Smiling and laughing just 24 hours after accusing the Hollywood star of abuse. Doug Stanhope, where he says Amber blackmailed the star. The comedian and his wife spent the day of the latest alleged assault with Johnny. He recalls, We assumed initially that his dour mood was because of his mother's death the day before. But he opened up in the most vulnerable of ways that it was not only his mother, but that Amber was now going to leave him, threatening to lie about him publicly in any and every possible duplicitous way if he didn't agree to her terms. Your fucking people are trying to kill me. You've turned me into a... My boy has to go to school. My boy goes to school and has kids go, so your fucking dad's a wife beater? You don't think about that, Amber. No. Two years after the divorce, Johnny Depp is now suing ex-wife Amber Heard. The shocking emergency room photo was taken on March 8, 2015. Johnny was partially sedated for pain. On Depp's right cheek is what he claims is a burn mark caused by Amber, who he says put a cigarette out on his face. 
ET has obtained the new court documents that have Depp's side of the story. The claims? Amber flew into a rage, allegedly upset because Johnny wanted a post-nuptial agreement. Amber threw a bottle at Johnny. It smashed against his hand, fracturing bones and basically chopping off the tip of his finger. His lawyer is getting ready for a fierce legal battle, telling ET they've got 31 eyewitnesses, 87 surveillance videos, time and date stamped photos, all of which they believe prove Johnny's innocence. Jezebel's spirit seeks to kill and destroy the institution of marriage and family. So narcissists become enveloped by the, the, the Jezebel spirit and they go on to wreak havoc in their family's lives. If you are with a narcissist, you are with a satanic being. Narcissists don't exist as people anymore. They're dead on the inside. Their flesh, their bone, but they don't, their soul has been corrupted. They are corrupted people. They are completely filled with evil. There is nothing good about them anymore. Jezebel spirit is named after Queen Jezebel, but it's not a female thing. It can be, it's, there's no gender. A Jezebel spirit is a name for an evil spirit that attacks families, that turns people into narcissists, that takes everything good out of that person and turns them into a cold, calculating beast. Now I'm going to talk about some of the signs that somebody has a Jezebel spirit and you'll see it sounds like I'm describing a narcissist. So these are the signs that someone has a Jezebel spirit. They lack empathy. They take joy in hurting others. They're manipulative. They gaslight, lie, confuse, love bomb. There's lack of accountability. They can't handle criticism. They want control. They have feigned repentance. They have pride. That sounds like a narcissist. It sounds like I'm describing a narcissist. That's the Jezebel spirit. They completely take over somebody's life. There's no room for anything goodness. It's all out. And if you know a narcissist, somebody really high, high on narcissistic traits, they're a cold person. You can look at their face and there's nothing there. There's no light. Light comes from God. You know, the sparkle in someone's eye, that's their soul. Somebody corrupted doesn't have that. Somebody who's a narcissist is completely corrupted. There's nothing left. They're, they're human in the sense that they're alive. They have flesh, they have bone, but they're not human anymore. They are a, they're a demon. They are not somebody that has any goodness. They are out to destroy. This is what they do. And then once they have you, they go about destroying you. They don't, they don't even know it. They don't know that they're possessed by evil. They just believe that they are the best, that everybody should follow them. God is out of their life. All right, so you guys just saw the news clips and you guys just saw, you know, just the different pieces on the Jezebel spirit. That's why I believe that he is fighting a spiritual war with this woman. Her intent is to destroy Johnny Depp, okay? And this is why people need to understand that just because somebody comes into your life, does not mean that they were sent there by God, okay? Does not mean that that is the love of your life. They could have been sent there by the devil. And that's what it seems like Amber Heard was sent to destroy and pillage everything that Johnny Depp had worked for in Hollywood. Now, what's so interesting about this is that the ex was asked what she thought about all this. And even though he cheated on her, he left her for a younger woman, Vanessa Paradis is still a class act. This is what she said. After a British newspaper published an article calling Depp a wife beater, the actor filed a liable suit that went and went to trial with the UK publisher in 2020. At the time, the British court accepted written testimonies from Depp's former partners, Winona Ryder and Vanessa Paradis to be exact. Neither ended up being called to provide evidence in the trial, but they both described all the allegations of domestic violence against Johnny Depp as unbelievable. This is what the baby mother said. She says, I have known Johnny for 25 years. We were partners for 14 years and we raised our two children together. Throughout all the years, I've known Johnny to be kind, attentive, generous, and a nonviolent person and father. Vanessa shared this in May of 2020. She goes on to say, on movie sets, the actors, directors, the entire crew adore him because he is humble and respectful to everyone, as well as being one of the best actors we've ever seen. 
Then she goes on to say, I am aware of the allegations in which Amber Heard has publicly accused Johnny of for more than four years now. This is nothing like the true Johnny I have known from my personal experience for many years. I can say he was never violent or abusive to me. Vanessa went on to describe Heard's domestic violence allegations as outrageous and really distressing, not only for Deb's career, but for the family as well. I have seen that these outrageous statements have been really distressing and also caused damage to his career because unfortunately people have gone on believing these false facts. This is so upsetting as he helped so many people in his personal and professional life with kindness and generosity. So even with everything that man had put her through, even with him not marrying her after 14 years and claiming, oh, you know, it's just a piece of paper, but then marrying his side chick, okay, within a few months and only staying married to her for a year, even with all that, his baby's mother and their kids are grown. So it's not like she's getting child support. You know, their kids are 22 and 20. You know, even with all that, she's still holding him down because she understands it's bigger than her hurt. It's bigger than her anger. It's about family and it's about legacy. And that is who Johnny Depp should have been building with is Vanessa Paradis. And this is why this should be a lesson to a lot of men out there, because a lot of y'all think that the people who hold you down, you know, once you get fame, once you get money, it's better to trade them in because having somebody who looks like Amber on your arm you know, this young up and coming Hollywood Scarlet will look better in the media than your baby's mother that you've been with for 14 years. And I think that's sad. I think this is definitely a cautionary tale. And people need to understand that the Jezebel spirit is alive and real. And it's not just women. There are also men out here who have Jezebel spirits as well. So don't get it twisted. Okay. That spirit can enter into anybody and turn them into something that you wouldn't even believe. So both men and women need to really watch out for that, you know. And so this whole situation is crazy. But once again, in the words of TLC, don't go chasing waterfalls. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, this is not to, you know what I'm saying, make Johnny Depp look bad. I'm just putting the full scope of the truth out there. Because I feel like in every situation, given if it's a celebrity situation or, you know, something with your friends, your family, we as people should be able to learn from other people's mistakes so that way we're not destined to repeat them. This was the point of me putting this whole video together so that way this can be seen as a cautionary tale with people who might be finding themselves in the same situation where they think that they're trading in something old for something new when you really could be trading in something gold for something amber. So on that note, you guys, go ahead and leave a comment. So let me know your thoughts. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video. Make sure you share the video. And let's get the discussion popping. Talk to y'all later. Deuces. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us, sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.